Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Dean Samet, the Hyper Realist, and you're tuned in to Photomanipulation.com. In this walkthrough, I'll be showing you how to create realistic evil undead eyes in Photoshop using adjustment layers. If you're interested in advanced photo manipulation techniques, crazy Photoshop work, or considering a career in digital art, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out five videos a week. Let's roll the video, enjoy. So in this video, we're going to cover one of my all time favorite um, undead demon eye techniques. And I originally came up with this concept when I watched the original Blade Runner film. I noticed that the replicants, their pupils were reflective and I thought that was a, a good visual style. So I started experimenting with inverting pupils and discovered that it works quite well. And I took the philosophy of inverting the pupils and carried that over to the iris as well. Now, I know there's already a lot of undead, zombie, demon eye tutorials on YouTube at the moment. And I'm not exactly reinventing the wheel. Um, but a lot of the ones that are out there already don't really have that tactile, glossy look. Um, some of them are quite murky or flat or don't really have that realistic aesthetic that, that makes um, the, the eyes impactful. Some of them are quite good, but mo most of them are not great. So that's why I've put this tutorial together for you guys today. So this is the demo image, and originally it looked like this, and I have to do a, a big shout out to the stock photographer for this one this is from adobe stock and it's by super studio i'll put a link to that in the description and so we've looked at the inspiration for this technique and we've got the demo version here um, if you look to the right there's a layer stack i've just got one group there with global processing and i have one group there with the eye demo that we've done before that i done before and then for this walkthrough, I'm going to walk through the entire process from beginning to end. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new layer. So shift, command and N for a new layer. And this is going to be called uh, eye mask. And what we want to do here is create a mask. Um, so create a pencil path around both of the whites of the eyes and fill that with white on this new layer. And then that means we can use that as a selection as we move forward to selectively edit that region. And then we'll go forward, we'll add another layer uh, with a filled in white for the iris and repeat that once again for the pupils. So I'm gonna hit P for pen tool and I'm gonna zoom in with command and plus. Control and plus if you're on a PC Windows, okay. And I'm going to draw with this pencil going around. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I'm going to go around these eyelashes a bit here, just clicking new points and dragging where needed. If you're not familiar with a pencil, please, please do get your head around this tool as fast as humanly possible because it's a very powerful function in Photoshop. I personally could not live without it. And my colleague, Clinton Lofthouse, He's exactly the same. So we're just gonna zip around here now and that's that path completed. We'll do the same for this one. Doesn't have to be super, super accurate. On this side, there's a few more eyelashes. So I'm just gonna go around these just like this and create this path. Um, this is a very dark region. So I'm just guessing for now, I, I think that's roughly where they're at. Like I said before, we don't need absolute perfection for this process. It's very fast, doesn't take too long. Um, I'm talking and demonstrating at the same time, but it, it doesn't have to be a long-winded, convoluted task. Okay, so we have two closed paths there. We have our eye mask layer. I'm gonna right click, go fill path. Fill path, contents, use white, go OK. And then right click and delete path. And there we have just bog standard 
white eyes and that's actually quite similar to some of the other white eye tutorials out there but let's move on with what we're doing okay shift command and n for a, another la a mask layer and this one will be iris mask even though there's more than one iris i think the plural for iris is just iris so here we go same as before with the whites of the the overall eye shape we're just going to trace around and get the iris as best we can like i said before absolute precision isn't the name of the game but try and um get as close as you can maybe get the path just to the outside of the black line on the uh, outer rim of the iris and we're going to repeat the same process with the eyelashes once again and as we get to the end of this path as before we close the paths i like to hold down a command and then click to get rid of all the anchor points we've got the iris the iris mask layer selected right click fill path use white delete path and there we have a selection based on our iris okay once more new layer shift command and n shift control and n on a windows and this will be pupils mask and repeating the exact process as before hit p for pen tool create a new path capture those pupils go around these eyelashes once again here we repeat just get the rough outline um, just get these eyelashes and then we're nearly done on creating our masks there we go right fill with path on the pupils mask right click delete path and there you have your pupils which is already quite similar to the replicant reference that we pointed to earlier on okay now with those three masks in place what we want to do is hold down command and click on the layer icon if you're on a windows that's hold down control you'll notice the hand changes to a marquee selection hold down command and click on the layer icon and that will create a selection based on that layer with that active now i know everybody has their adjustments in different places i like to have my i have a very minimal workspace um, and some of my colleagues on photomanipulation.com have all different kinds of workouts for me personally i just like to have the adjustment layers accessible from this area at the bottom of the layers palette so here we go i'm going to go with levels levels is um, my personal favorite for things like this and then you can tweak the levels um, the, the midpoint to the left or the right or you can grab the white slider which is a bit more intense so for this for iris i like to use a middle slider and drag it left now you may notice that this is really stark and unrealistic where we use a pen tool it's really sharp and it doesn't look organic at all um, a very simple way to get around this is go filter blur gaussian blur and if you put on a very gentle radius i don't know let's have a look um two pixels it gives it a milky kind of uh, soft appearance and if we zoom out there you can see that's already coming together quite ni nicely okay we're going to repeat that process i'm going to command and click on pupils mask and above the levels layer mask i'm going uh, for the iris i'm going to do the same again levels now on this one you could use the white slider to have it more prominent and punchy you could use a combination of both i think that will do it for now um, i'm going to repeat the same blur that i did last time so i could just go command and f and that will repeat the last filter that i did on windows control and f and because this is an adjustment layer this is non-destructive which means that anytime i can go back in and tweak those values 
without causing permanent damage to the pixels. Okay, so we're already looking quite good. We're almost there. It's a nice easy one, this tutorial. There's a couple of extra things you can do. At the moment, you can see there's some pixel degradation there. Um, there's there's a number of methods that you can get around this. Um, they're all quite quick and dirty, but what I like to do is to create a snapshot, Command, Alt, Shift and E. And anytime I say Command uh, for Mac, just replace it with Control. Okay, and what that does is it creates a snapshot of everything, a merged, copy merged snapshot. And here on the layer stack, the layer 30, you can see it's its own um, layer now. Now with this snapshot, what you can do is you can apply an oil paint filter or you can use uh, the camera raw. I use camera raw all the time um, for doing on the, fl on the fly kind of layer based edits. So this is the snapshot layer that I have in camera raw right now. Go to detail, go to luminance, punch up the luminance and bring the detail down just a touch, go okay. And what this will do will homogenize um, the pixel degradation that happened within the pupils. Add a layer mask and then invert to back black, command and I. And with a soft edge brush, I'm gonna switch the um, foreground and background using X on the keyboard. With a bog, a bog standard soft edge brush, just painting uh, the homogenized layer using the layer mask there on the snapshot so this will get rid of some of the pixel degradation now it can sometimes look a bit too synthetic and milky let's just pull out it's not bad it looks okay um, you can always pull the opacity down for that so if it's too kind of obtrusive or what you can even do I'm just gonna get rid of everything and it's only really the, the pupils where I have a problem. I know when I'm zoomed out, it's not gonna be an issue, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist sometimes. And if I just want to selectively paint in some of the pixel degradation on the pupils, I can do that and it's absolutely fine. Um, another thing that I like to do uh, with this effect is to have all of the Kind of levels adjustments in one layer group um, I'm gonna go I demo live just so I can keep things organized a bit of housekeeping there okay I'm going to add a layer mask to that group and with a soft edge brush change to black I'm going to, to switch foreground color using X what I normally like to do is to just get a little bit of shadow at the top because the the top eyelids will be casting a tiny bit of shadow going down. It wouldn't be stark and white right up to the top. So I'll just do that there. And because we have the eye mask, the first mask that we did, at any time we can select that. If we want to increase the brightness for the entire eye region, the whites of the eyes, we can go to a layer group there, just pump that up a tiny notch um, a very small Gaussian blur. So blur, Gaussian blur. I didn't go Command and F on that because the last filter effect that I did um, was luminescence, camera raw. Just add a tiny two pixel blur on that and it gives it a bit more of a tactile edge. So that boost has actually, I think that might look better than the original demo. Let's have a look at that. Possibly, yeah, it depends what your tastes are. But for me personally, this live demo, I like that just a little bit more than my first one. Okay, um, that's, oh yeah, one other thing. Let's not forget this, this is important. The reason why the other eye effects that you've seen online usually look quite fake is because there's no depth there. Um, eyes are, are wet glossy and reflective and sometimes when you do this process you use these small highlights um, what we call speculars now at any time you can get um, uh, a white shape uh, so hit U for shape on the toolbar select ellipse 
create an ellipse where you'd like the speculars to be. I'm using the old ones for reference. There's two on there. Um, Command and F, repeat that Gaussian blur. Change them to overlay. And you can even add more if you want. Um, let's just ramp this up a notch. Let's just get a tiny one there. I'm just going to Command and J that to duplicate that layer. And I'm going to move that over here. And that's coming down, merge down, Command and E, change that to overlay. Um, do I need to blur that? It's so tiny. But there you can see with these speculars that it makes the eyeball look um, glossy and reflective and real. And the final kind of bonus tip that I have for you today is because you created those masks at the beginning, you can um, click on the eye mask layer and at any time you can create another levels and pull the values down, down, down and you can get some really elegant looking kind of black demonic eyes. Now this is really cool, I love this effect. A tiny blur for the edges, that's better. Um, what I could do is just get a, a brush and get those tiny bits down there. Let's invert that. Let's just get that bottom edge there. Do the same for here. And this is really nice. Okay, um, you may be thinking, yeah, that's great, but how did you do those awesome skin effects? So this was the model, and then yesterday I done some skin work over some kind of... Um, decomposing zombie skin there um i've used two different processes for this background image um one is kind of a digital makeup process for the exaggerated uh eyeshadow and lips and then a kind of a zombified skin process a combination of skills that i've developed over the years i will be doing dedicated videos for both of these looks within the next uh, month or so and as soon as they go live I'll be adding the links to the description below. So if you're watching this now and you want to get those extra tutorials, have a look. The links may be there. Okay, the final thing I want to say for this tutorial, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, uh, subscribe. We really do appreciate it. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one. See you then.